I feel like at this point we all just love Quentin Tarantino, unless you're someone that is extremely against violence in film and doesn't understand that, you know, movies aren't real. Oh my god! Hey. <laughs> Awful. Django Unchained is a western directed and written by Quentin Tarantino. It's about a slave named Django that is freed by a kind of unusual but charming German bounty hunter named Schultz. Together, they must find Django's wife, Brumhilda, and save her from the evil plantation owner that is Kelvin Candy. First off, I just want to talk about how amazing Jamie Foxx and Christoph Waltz are. I mean, they're amazing by themselves. They're, they're very, very talented actors that have proven themselves in the past and in this movie alone. But when they're together on screen, their chemistry is perfect. They play off each other so well that it, it like, just that, it makes the entire movie. For me, at least. I mean, it, it's just nice. It's just really nice seeing a cast this good. Leonardo DiCaprio plays Kelvin Candy, an evil plantation owner, and the owner of Broomhilda. I just want to say that, oh my god, I respect him so much as a person and an actor. His dedication to roles is insane. His performance is mind-blowing. Like, I have infinite respect for how much dedication he has for his roles. And I hate to say this, but it really is slash was Oscar worthy. He is amazing. You know, I, I want to go down the entire cast, but the cast is just so solid and everybody's performances are just so superb and perfect that it would take a million years. Django Unchained is directed about as well as you'd expect a Quentin Tarantino movie to be directed. It's fantastic, and the same goes for the writing. It's realistic, it's awesome, and at times extremely funny, which is only made better by the directing. I love how Tarantino really doesn't hold back at all, and when I say that, there actually was a far more gruesome cut of this movie, but he showed it to a couple audiences and kind of traumatized them, so he cut it down a little bit to an R rating. Oh, I love that man. Every scene and shot exists to either further the plot, as you'd expect, or to give information to the audience, and it does all of this while being beautifully paced. Bow down now. Oh. Take notes, David O. Russell. Could have done that with joy, but you didn't. Cause I hate that movie. Oh boy. I, I'm still mad about joy. I'm sorry. I, it's, I, hmm. The soundtrack blends in so flawlessly with what is happening on screen that you'd really expect it to almost be a music video, but without it being really cheesy. Now, there are some songs in the soundtrack that are older that you'd expect in a western, but there are some modern songs. And when I say modern, I'm talking about like the last 20 years that are mixed in there that you would not expect at all. But that's Tarantino for you. For example, there's, there's a two-pack song in a shootout scene. And when I say that, you'd think, ugh, that sounds like a terrible idea. That sounds like it would be really forced and crammed down your throat. No, it is perfect. It almost works too well. It's like the it's like the get away from her, you bitch scene in Aliens. You just... Hmm. As you'd expect, though, this movie is pretty violent because Quentin Tarantino just thinks that people are blood bags on legs. Like, at this point, I don't know if he knows that people aren't just blood. No one tell him, though, because it's amazing. Some of the violence, though, is pretty confronting, especially the whipping scenes, because the actors know how to pull off the look of pain. Like, it's... It's weirdly convincing. It's almost at the point... Actually, it is at the point where I'm like, were they whipped on set? I can't tell. I don't want to ask. I don't want to question that. I don't want... Quentin Tarantino to be sued for more things because of this movie. This is the part of the video where I'd usually complain about bad pacing, robotic dialogue, bad directing, CGI, terrible everything, anything, CGI. But there is nothing wrong with this movie. Honestly, I can't find anything. It is flawless. It's perfect for what it is, and that's a Western. And that's coming from someone that doesn't even like Westerns that much. This movie was raw, it was confronting, it was beautifully written, perfectly shot, 
and amazingly directed. And that's why Django Unchained gets a 10 out of 10 and a buy it right now on Blu-ray, seal of approval. Seriously, it, this thing is, it's like a two for 30 movie. How can you pass that up? I mean, yeah, it is on Netflix, but I feel like a, oh, watch it on Netflix, seal of approval. That's not enough for this. That's not enough for this. And I'm at the point where I can see the compression in Netflix video and it makes me want to die. It's like, oh yeah, sure, this is in 1080p, but it's still compressed. Oh, I'm that dick. I'm that guy. I am that guy. I can't even watch, I, I can't even torrent a movie anymore. If I want to review a movie, I have to see it on Blu-ray. I can't do it. I loved this movie throughout the whole thing, especially the last half an hour. It just left my jaw dropped and my senses overloaded. Oh my God, if you haven't seen this movie, you need to right now, it is that good. Go watch it, go watch it now. It's absolutely fantastic. Have you guys seen Django Unchained? What did you think of it? Actually, it's my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. Before this, it was Kill Bill Volume 2. I went on like a big marathon for a week and I just watched all of them apart from Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained. I have no idea why I didn't just watch them in that week and I regret it, but I also, I'm glad because now that I have more of a knowledge of film, I can love this movie even more. What movie would you like me to review next? Actually, funny thing about that, last night I watched Alien and Aliens at the Astor Theater. If you live anywhere near Melbourne, if you live anywhere near there, go there. It's been there since 1939 and it is beautiful. Seriously, oh my God, it's amazing there. I, it feels so fancy and I, I wanna live there. If I'm being completely honest, I would live there. That's why I want to die, spread my ashes there. I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and happy watching because these lights are burning and I am dying. Holy, oh boy, I'm probably going to go watch, re-watch this movie again. Uh, yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Huh. Whoa. Lawrence plays Joy and she actually does a decent job with what she's given. It hurt like physically seeing her say some of these lines because they're absolutely terrible and you can tell that she's really trying. You can see it in her eyes. You can see the pain like oh god. It's like a Disney Channel actor nowadays. You, you switch over to Disney XD. All of the eyes say please kill me or let me out of this contract. I signed up when I was young and impressionable and now I'm 30. Damn Disney shows, please help me. Her talent is completely wasted on this character. And honestly, her best performance is when she's walking and not even talking. She just has aviators on.